we have a homemade cone out of a bucket. My uh, friend John made this, and you can see he cut the bucket in half, and then he drilled some holes, pulled it together, so the chicken fits in like a cone. There's the chicken right there. And this works. Saves money. And we're at our friend John and uh, Maggie's house. Bob's helping, I'm not. <laughs> It <laughs> got some chicken. We don't want to see that. He, I want you to show what you're using for it, though. Well, John, that might be easier than, for you than me. Ah, Got to get it all the way. There we well, go. Well, this is the uh, water we're uh, using to put the bird in to make the easy, the feathers easy to pull it off. Yeah, but I'm talking about what is this particular? It's a was a turkey fryer pot. It's got a thermometer on the side built in, so it's easy to keep track of the temperature. You don't have yeah. one of those, so one of those, those aim temperatures or any kind of thermometer that you would use for cooking. Just, but you want it at about 150, we believe. Too hot, the skin, not hot enough, the feathers don't come off. Now right, you got that? Too hot and it damage the skin and not hot enough, the feathers don't come off. So they like it around 150. Well, you stop picking Cut the bottom off. Hold up, John. Whatever kind of tool you want to use. Tell them how you're doing it. You just you cut the bottom off, and then you go about about even to the edges of these uh, other ends of the handles, and you just you make a, a V shape all the way up to where the rim of the bucket is, just like that. And then you cut that triangle out, and then you cut from here to here with a straight cut to whatever kind of tool you got. And now you can just simply fold it up and adjust the cone. The commercial ones. The hole at the bottom is about three inches. Um, the hole that we're using here is a little bit bigger. It's about four and a quarter, because I didn't measure it. But it's working just fine for the meat chickens. So with a smaller chicken, you need the hole smaller. But that's it. That's bottom off, triangle, one cut. Then you drill holes and sew it together with zip ties. It is so simple. Thank you, John. Ooh, thank you, John. We've uh, ducked the more. chicken, and the feathers coming out easy, so now it's time to Dunked at 150. Now we're going to turn the water on. Start the motor. Drop the bird I mean, look at that. Hey, people, 150. Yeah, so far. 150. Got a little bit of tear on it. That's why I tried to grab it by the leg and it moved. Uh, <laughs> and spin it. this yard bird is working wonderfully. Good review. As you see, this one, and most, I don't know of any other that comes apart like this. There's the, there's the bucket. You can clean it out real easy this way. So that's, that's pretty good. Smart, we use a, a bucket on the bottom, catch the fence, easy cleanup. Isn't that nice? Go yard burn. Go yard burn.